Morning guys, um, today I'm going to do a winter range test. Um, now I haven't actually charged 100%, I did leave it on a lot longer than normal last night but for some reason, I don't know if it's because it's dropped down uh, to just above zero, uh, it hasn't charged up to uh, 100%. Um, it's nothing to do with the actual um, degradation of the uh, battery. Uh, it's probably just the fact that I didn't have it on long enough, basically, truth be told. Um, I'm actually still charging it now as we um, speak, um, but I'm not going to get no more. It takes ages to get the last 2%. Um, yeah, so basically, it's although it's showing 5 outside, it's not. It's actually the uh, temperature gauge on these cars don't actively show the correct value until you actually start moving. Um, I Again, I don't know why that is with the uh, sensors on normal other cars I've ever had before. Uh, whatever it is outside, it shows correctly outside from the off. Um, there's uh, actually uh, ice on top of the roof, so it's a lot lower than five, trust me, it fills it. Anyway, what I'm actually going to do today when I set off is actually um, I've got to do a motorway run uh, down to London um, and then back again, obviously. And the plan today is actually from the time I actually leave home to pick up my um, client um, and then the rest of my jobs during the day, I'm actually going to leave the heating on 17.5 degrees Celsius uh, for the remainder of the day. Um, and that's including me actually being stationary. I'm not actually going to physically turn the car off. I'm just going to leave the heating on. Um, and yeah, we'll see how we get on. Welcome back guys, um, I've just dropped off my second uh, fare after just getting back from uh, London. Um, on a clip I'm just about to show you now, when I got back from London I was uh, on just over 41 miles and 26 mile of that was doing 70 mile an hour. The other two miles was when I was in like 50 zones leading up to this 70 mile an hour zone effectively. Uh, so that will give you a good indication um, of how she's doing. Um, I've now got 61% uh, of the battery remaining and it's one degrees outside. It's actually colder I'm out in the suburbs as you can see. Um, and I've covered just under 49 miles. So looking good at the moment. Hi guys, uh, it's mid morning as you can see I've got the window open, um, I'll show you another clip now, um, it's 17.5 degrees still shown on the climate control which has been um, on from my, when I started at 5 this morning, I've actually had the heating off for a total of 12 minutes so far in all of that time, and I'm down to 39%, uh, just under 73 miles. Um, but the point I want to make is it's so warm, the heating in these cars is just phenomenal and um, it's like three degrees, it was actually one, it's slowly going up, it's gone up to three degrees. Just dropped off another client, 
just under 85 miles now, 28% left on the battery, so it's much, not much different from the last time. But yeah, this is looking good today. Um, as far as passengers in the vehicle, all barring one of my jobs was one person. So some had luggage, still on their own though, so it was just me and a customer and luggage, like push chairs and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's uh, looking good so far. Um, just coming up on 110 miles now. Uh, temperature outside is seven degrees. Um, I won't bother showing you it. Um, basically, um, the reason I've just added this little bit in um, before we complete the um, range test for today, I've got 11% left on the battery, by the way, uh, 17 miles on the gun. Um, I've noticed um, when the temperature starts increasing, in terms of the outside ambient temperature starts increasing up, the energy usage on the heat pump goes down. Um, so when it's colder, it uses more energy. Um, it does stabilize, but I do notice I've been keeping an eye on the um, climate control uh, energy usage and it drops down and goes up. Anyway, the point I wanted to make is that when the temperature goes up, the energy usage goes down um, if you keep it at the set um, temperature range. So to count of that, what I've actually done is I've actually increased the temperature of the cabin, like the inside uh, temperature like uh, setting, um, up to notches from 17.5 up to 19.5, which is keeping that, um, like I'm watching it now, the um, little bar is going up around what it was this morning when it was very cold. Um, it's probably not gonna get higher than eight or nine today anyway, um, which is a good indication for this uh, first of two winter uh, range tests. Um, but if it does go to eight or nine, then I'll actually up the cabin temperature even higher to keep that up at 500 watts, which would be a good represent representation of um, leaving the heating on. Um, as far as actually getting out of the car so far, I've actually made a note. Um, I have been out of the vehicle for a total of 18 minutes since five o'clock this morning. So the heating's been on that entire time. Um, I've actually had the window open, as you've probably seen in one of my uh, earlier clips this morning. Um, in fact, it's getting very warm again in here now. Um, um, way too efficient, the heating. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I'm going to um, continue working until I get down to 5%, um, which is another 6% left. Um, and then I will make my way home and finish off the rest of the range test like I did earlier in the year, um, just basically driving around a block until I get dash, 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 and that's where I'm gonna call it at that. Um, I'm not gonna bother going into turtle mode, um, don't see the point. It's probably only about two or three miles more than dash, dash, dash anyway, so it'll give you a good um, indication of how good this does in the winter months. Um, as for my second range test, um, the reason I wanted to do this one now is because I'm due to take delivery of my winter tires or snow tires um, in the, if the winter conditions change drastically mid-November, I'll be putting on my tires um, earlier than normal. Um, I normally change my winter tires around the, uh, from my summer to the winter tires around the 20th to the 28th of November every year. Uh, last year it was very mild so I didn't put them on until the 1st of December but by the 1st of December they will be going on uh, as a latest point um, and then I'll do another range test with similar temperature conditions uh, on the winter tyres to see how Beverly performs if there's any loss of um, miles covered with a different tread pattern and softer compound anyway that's for later on in the year well month, another month or so Afternoon guys, um, just finished work for the day. Um, so my total for being out of the vehicle was a grand total of, where are we? I've done a little bit of shopping. Um, so let me work this out. Uh, uh, so I've basically yeah, been out of the car for, sorry, I've got glare in my eyes from the lovely head unit. Fantastic design. Should have been angled towards the driver that would alleviate all of that anyway. Another story for another day. Um, yeah, so I've done uh, where are we uh, 10 
Right, so I've been out of the vehicle for approximately half an hour, give or take. Um, and it's now 12.16. So the heating has been on for just, let's say seven hours. It's, it's six hours and 50 minutes, but let's just say seven hours. Um, I actually put it on 10 minutes before five, although the um, screenshot I took earlier, the battery was actually showing 98, and then it, um, when I unplugged it, it was showing 100, so that wasn't right anyway. Anyway, so yeah, so basically, heating's been on for, say, seven hours, and I've dr driven a total at the moment of 140 miles. I've got nine miles left on the gum, and I've got 6% left on battery. Right guys, I've just had the very low battery uh, warning I can come up and my energy usage is showing um, four dashes across the miles in the estimated. Um, and I've got dash, dash, dash on the GOM, down to 4%. Um, heating still on, I'm taxing this right to the limit. Um, I'm in a 30 zone now, so I'm driving quite sedately, but I say the heating still showing. 500, about 500 watts of power being drawn. 116.4 miles. I think 120 is going to be is going to be fine. It'll be interesting to see if I can actually get 122. But see, I don't know how much I actually get out of the 28 in this sand leaf in terms of uh, range when it's in turtle mode. Like, is it yards, like hundreds of yards or meters, rather than miles? Right, so the traffic's cleared now, so I'll carry on moving. Let's see if I can... Do you know what? I'm going to call it 2%. I've got a few places I can actually uh, turn around. Worst ways, it's always the... Uh, Ian Sampson's favourite, the uh, chocolates and bottle of wine jobby. By the way, Ian, if you do watch this, congrats. I was watching your uh, 10,000 mile update with Zoe. Um, Bruce is looking really well and hope your next uh, 10,000 up to 20,000 is as good as your first 10 um, be interesting to see what that squeak is on your uh, near side if it is a suspension uh, turret could actually be a linkage and obviously the flickering on that uh, rear view camera doesn't sound very good I've had no problems with this but then again, the vehicle is a lot more expensive. So, yeah. Right, now, coming back to my test today, I've, I'm now in a, a 40 zone and I'm maintaining speed at 40. Um, now do I go up to the next junction? Still on 3%. Still on 3%. Trouble is out here, guys, there's no, as you can probably see around me, there's no houses. So, if I get stuck, it's going to be a flatbed job. Oh, there you go, right, 2%. I just hammered it a little bit, showing 2%. 118. 0.7 miles, heating still on, still drawing five, 500 watts. Just as a test, I'm gonna hammer it. It's definitely limited. The power is not going all the way around. Um, I just tried going past and I had my foot to the floor and it literally um, went up to about three quarters of power and it won't go anymore. Just let this car accelerate away from me a little bit and I'll try that again. Oh no, it is going, yeah, it is holding it back. It goes up and then it slowly starts dropping it back as if you can't get maximum power. You get it for light. A split second and then it backs off a little bit. Mm. Do I go back? See here it's fine because this house is here and I could just probably run the extension need out and it wouldn't be very good. But I think we'll be fine. Right. I'm nearly on oh, just let me open this window, I'm sweating. Um Coming up on the magical 120 miles with a heat run for seven hours exactly. So it's 12.29. So it's been on for seven hours of heating. 
and it's warm. I mean, really hot. I could have actually reduced that and probably got more range. Sadly, I'm back stuck back in traffic again. There you go, 120 miles. Right, I'm on 1%, just gone down. Right, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna call it, guys. Um, yeah. Um, I wonder if I should let this run until it completely, until the battery completely gives up the ghost. What about if I put the heat in on uh, really high? And that'll eat up a uh, kilowatt, won't it? Let's go right the way up to 30. Put the fan on. See if it will use up more. It's going to get really hot in here now. Draw it. It's pulling 1.5 kilowatt. One point eight two kilowatt. Okay, guys, I finally got dash 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 on the battery as well as on the gom now. Um, still drawing one point uh, eight, maybe even two kilowatts of power. Um, I've just done the windows up because it's uh, you got outside noise and I had the fan up uh, full speed. Um, so I would say that considering it was drawing well under a quarter of the parrots drawing now and i've sat here for nearly 20 minutes i'd say you get i'm going to call it an hour it's just so boring um, i could probably sit here probably take another hour to go completely dead um but on an end note i'll turn all of this off i'm going to call it now um so and i'll let uh Uncle Bjorn have the last word. I, I don't know. If I'm, hopefully, I'm allowed to show Bjorn on my channel. Um, it is my channel, but am I copyrighted by showing him on my channel? Hmm. I don't know. But anyway, yeah. So let me just uh, play this bit, and he can do the end of fancy bed, mate, for today. Uh, they're actually made from recycled materials. Yeah. He's talking about his jacket. So I think that'll be it. This kind of short and boring video almost nobody watches videos like this but if something goes wrong with my car then they'll watch it yeah so this video will get less than 10,000 views but I guess mostly like the true followers people who are in, looking into the technical details they will watch this video so thank you guys for watching and I hope you will support me on patreon it helps a lot so I think that's it for now next time I'll measure this will be maybe in like six months yeah so yes, talk to you guys later. See ya, Uncle Bjorn. Right, hopefully I don't get in trouble for that. <laughs> um, if I do, I'll take the video down and I'll edit it out. <laughs> um, so, to today's uh, first part of the winter test, um, seven hours is not a problem, having the heating on, so stay warm, um, and 120 miles, um, is a good indication. I'm quite happy with that. Uh, especially when you consider Lee Spy Pro is showing correctly or incorrectly um, at this stage about 6% uh, loss of uh, battery in terms of uh, the range. I know it's not a lot. Um, I'm quite happy with 120 miles with having a heating on in that time. Um, it's covered my shift pretty much. And don't forget this morning, um, I'd done that motorway journey, which was 26 miles at 70 mile an hour. Um, your mileage might vary depending on what kind of jobs that you guys are going to be doing. Um, but hopefully that will help you um, out a little bit. Um, anyway, guys, I'm going to call it a day now. And I'm going to go and get a well-deserved cup of coffee. And I will speak to you guys soon. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.